Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to start with the first one of if relationships had GPAs. <clears throat> so just to ask you, no, for you out there, how often would you say that you actually evaluate your relationship? Now, this is a great question, and I actually evaluate my, we don't do GPAs, but uh, I bring it, <laughs> I bring it up every three months that we discuss the relationship and, um, you know, where we can make room for improvement and if there's anything we need to work on. So for the GPA, same, I would say every three months, you got to stay on your toes, stay on top of it. That's like the, the perfect amount. Like every season change, you just gotta check something. Yep. <laughs> yep. Let, okay, let's sit down. Let's talk about this, okay? See, and a, a lot of people do a lot of people don't do that. They just try to kind of go with the flow. And no, no, not gonna lie. I probably should have did that myself in my like my previous one, because like basically letting four years kind of just go down the drain was like, dang, but I'm not too much upset. Cause look, I mean we could have evaluated a little. A little better, but sometimes when things aren't going good, you just kind of avoid the situation. And I feel like that's where like things took like a, a great downturn because like instead of us like yeah, I need you to start doing this, I need you to stop doing this. You know, I would just leave. You know, I, I just leave. It's like a night. I just leave. Eleven o'clock at night. Just leave. You no, know, walk away. <laughs> yeah. Because like sometimes it's like it's not worth the headache, but in this instance. The relationship, check, having a GPA, I think it would be, like, awesome. Like you said, you know, every three months, like, me, I know me, I would be very extra. Like, I would literally give out a scorecard and let her write her letters in <laughs> <laughs> for every every section. So we can talk how we can have communication on there. We can have sleeping on there. We can have, um, you know, hanging out, fun time, anything. You give me an A, B, C, D, because I will grade you very thoroughly. <laughs> and leave mm-hmm. comments like a teacher like mm-hmm. her well does her work well but talks too much and then we can discuss that <laughs> <laughs> I think I think so I think in, in and I think you know uh, we learn from our past experiences you know at least you should be so this is something that I, I learned you know later on in life <laughs> so but I, I, I definitely do and I don't give like a, I wouldn't do like a sport course um, but I would like write the notes down, you know, like even if it's something that we talked about and I'm like, you know, I'll, you know, we had a conversation about like, you know, I don't really like when you do this or whatever. And we have a short conversation about it. I'm going to follow up with that in the three months check in because that's what I would call it. Like this is our relationship check in. So I would write it down in case I forget and then I would bring it up. Um in the three months check-in and anything that's happening in between them, in between there and, and what. So I think if relationship actually had uh, GPAs, I think they would, I think they would last longer. I think they would be more successful because the more you are in a, aware of what you're doing, uh, the better you can be of yourself. So I'm a, a weight loss uh, coach, right? Mm-hmm. And one of the things, one of the things that we recommend is that the client weigh their, their self every day. Why? Because if you weigh yourself every day, you are aware of what you're doing, right? right. So if you weigh yourself at the, at, at the every day and then by the end of the week, you see that you're up five pounds, um, psychologically, you're going to be like, okay, well, I need to cool it. You know, I need to tone down my eating. So the same thing with the relationship. If we're checking in every three months, you're more likely to be successful, right? Right. Unless y'all checking in and y'all just like, well, fuck it. We fell in, you know, <laughs> fuck it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <clears throat> I don't give a shit. <laughs> and no, uh, I definitely, <clears throat> I definitely get that. Cause yeah, I mean, with the with the updates, it's kind of like you you're having the person accountable because there's literally mm-hmm. you know a sheet saying like this is what you do right and this is what you do wrong and this is what we need to work at and where that's where that gray area is. So it's like it's two questions that just made me think about as you were talking. So for one, I would say starting with the question. So what do you do in your instance if you got all of this stuff written out and you're like, okay, you need to change this, do that, but then you know the second. The next three months come about and nothing has changed. Where do you go from there? Uh, we're we gonna talk about this again. I'm gonna ask him. You know, why the fuck are you not 
doing why you know we talked about this so like why are you not doing what you're supposed to be doing why are you not working towards this um because it takes two to tangle right it takes two to make a relationship work so we're gonna have have a conversation about this again and if i feel like his reasoning is valid we can go another three months now if we make it through another three months and he's still not making progress then i'm gonna start feeling like only i care to make this relationship work and then we're gonna have a problem Mm.